Hey everybody, we are getting it done right here at the house today. Tristan from LT Outdoorsman sent me this pistol crossbow. It was just a cool thing to do, Tristan, thanks. I've always wanted one of these things, but I never bought one because I always thought they were a child's toy. When I got this thing out of the box, we set up a bow target in my living room, and when I shot it the first time, I thought, ooh, we're going to have to be careful. This thing kill you. Then the wheels started turning. I decided I wanted to try to hunt with it. It wasn't a day or so later, I seen a squirrel there in the front yard. So I eased out there and shot him. It worked real well. So I made a whole production out of it. I moved my squirrel feeder. I set, a, set this chair over here by my shed and cut some privet limbs and stuck them in the ground and brushed it in real good. Now I've just been in and out of the house as I get time shooting squirrels with it. It's really a good time. Anyways, I'm gonna quieten back down and see if another squirrel will ease down this tree to this corn feeder. I don't know what happened. I completely missed that shot. I'm gonna quiet him back down because he just ran around the tree. He'll he'll come back around here in just a second. I got the little booger that time. Uh, he ran around the back of the tree, but he didn't go nowhere. I'm gonna go over there and fetch him. These little things are wicked. I hate to get up right now. There's another one up there. Yeah, here he is right here, right around the back of the tree. Got to right through his little old heart. This thing's pretty handy. Put it back in there. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a good tender one there. We get one more. That'll be three. That'll be enough to make some dumplings. Look at this first bolt I shot. It's just laying here on the ground. Ain't no blood on it. It ain't dinged up. It just laying there. You think it would have stuck in the the tree or something? I I don't know what happened. I don't know if it hit a limb and turned it down or or what happened. Maybe I'll play that video back in slow motion and see what what went on. All right, while well, I was waiting on another squirrel, I have reviewed and reviewed and reviewed that video. And it turns out that first bolt did stick in the tree just to the right of the squirrel. If I watch it real slow, I could see it stick in the tree. And then when he came back and I shot him, he knocked it out as he was running off. And that's how it ended up laying on the ground there. It was bugging me. I couldn't figure out for nothing how it got on the ground. Now we're just going to sit around and wait on another one. Good grief. I don't know if y'all could see that, but I missed that one too. I thought I was a better shot than that. It's these it's these uh PVC bolts. They're they're not just real consistent. I think I'm gonna wrap it up with that one. Uh I'm cold. I'm gonna go in the house and warm up. If if y'all wanna see me do more squirrel hunting videos, let me know. My grandma sent me a uh recipe out of one of her cookbooks for dumplings. I'm gonna fix them up if if y'all want to see that, hit me up. I can bang out another one, maybe a catch and cook or something. If uh, y'all want to see me clean a squirrel, I'll link that video in the description below. Y'all don't, y'all don't make fun of the shaky camera too much. My ten-year-old was my cameraman, and he did all right. I'm gonna head on in the house and get warm. So until next time, right?